Hello everyone, welcome back. You saw how our IT support agent can understand the user's request, understand the user's intent, and it can look for the solutions in the IT support document as a context and help the user directly. If the solution is not found in the IT support document, means in the context, then agent can raise a Jira ticket as well. And if the agent is not sure what to do, then it can also escalate that issue to a human using escalation. So far, we have seen how agent works with the knowledge and escalation. But let's take a very common example. A user says, help me reset my password. Then agent look into that IT support document as a context. And if solution is found, it reply with the solutions. Now, if user says that I have already tried multiple times, but still I am unable to reset my password, means please reset my login password. In that case, agent can call RP workflow to reset that password, means agent itself cannot automate the repetitive task like opening the web page, filling the forms, clicking on the buttons like that. So agent takes help from RPA. And then as a tool, agent can use that RPA workflow and reset that password. So we are going to create a UI Path Studio workflow, the RPA workflow, and then we will use tools as a RPA workflow will pass that, will give this power to agent so that, so that agent can call that RPA workflow directly from the orchestrator where we are publishing that package. And it can reset the password and at the end, it can also share the password with the user that this is your temporary password. You can log into this and change the password like that. So let me show you how to do this. So this is our IT support agent. We have used create issue, IT support, create Jira issue, IT support document as a context and Esclason app. Okay, now it's time to call RP workflow. For that, we should have a project RPA automation means one workflow ready. Let's open UiPath Studio. Okay, this is for reset the password. And we need a web application to reset the password. So this is password reset form where like we'll enter the username or employee ID, enter the temporary password, confirm password and reset that. And currently this is not hosted online. This is placed locally. So I'll Take it from there. Now, to open that website and use that browser so that we can automate that, I need to use an activity called use browser or use application browser like this way. And this is the part of uipath.uiautomation.activities package. You need to install that package first. Okay, and drag and drop. Now here we need to indicate that application so that we can automate that. So let's click on that. Now we need to indicate on this application. Once you select that, you see automatically it has taken that file path. Means we are using this HTML file. Okay. Now we need to take four activities, three type into and one click button. Okay, let's click on this and use type into. Click on that. Now we have an option indicate in the edge password reset browser. Click on that and then we will indicate here. Click on this. Once you we'll click here, it will try to search the anchor. So this is the anchor. If you think this is correct, just go with this. Now I will remove this fuzzy selectors and computer vision. I will take it as a strict selector and validate this looks good now let's confirm this here in the type what i'll do i will enter user id like this way the hard coded value for now now we'll take another type into let's take this click again and this is new password Make it selector, strict selector, validate and confirm. Got it? This time we'll enter the password as a, let's say, let me 
click on this so that we can see here so I'm saying welcome at the rate one two three let's take this password take another type into now at the end we need to click on reset password button so take click activity click on this and click on this button confirm now our workflow rp workflow is ready let's try running this You see in the backend it was typing all these things and the password has been reset successfully. Got it? I'll do one thing. I'll click on this and there is an option close. I will select it. If open by huge app browser then close that. Means if that browser is opened by this activity then it will close that. Okay. Uh, one more thing we can select here open where I want to open this so if not open so if this browser is not open th sorry this web application is not open this password is set, then it will open that web app okay we have set it here now save it and publish click on publish reset password i can say rpa workflow Let's take it version 0 itself, new version. First, reset password web page. Okay, now click next, click next, click publish. Now this has been published. Got it? Let's close this as well. Now let's open UiPath Orchestrator so that we can deploy that. I'll go to this folder where I have published that and go to automation and then click on add process from here we need to select that so this is the package reset password underscore rp workflow select the entry point version and click next next I don't want to enable the healing agent for this I'll keep the same name so I don't want to put here display name got it now let's create it so you see here this process is now created and our agent is ready to use this now let's go back to the agent now scroll down here we have tools here we need to add that RP workflow click on add tool and from this automations we can search for that RP workflow that we have created so let's type here reset password underscore rpa workflow select that now you see we have two tools here one for create jira ticket jira issue second to call rpa workflow now only adding the tools as a workflow is not enough we need to also tell this agent that now you have the capability to call the RP workflow as well means you have the power to run an automation as well for that we need to update this system prompt and user prompt as well and I will open this autopilot and I will ask this autopilot agent to improve this system prompt and user prompt I'll type here
Okay, let's click on this. Now it says that we need to update the system prompt for the new functionality. Let's review the suggestions. And you see here it says that you are an IT support agent with expertise in handling various IT issues, including password reset. Your responsibility include this, this, this. Now it will remove this part like creating. So let's accept this first. Okay. Now here it will remove this part and say handling password reset request, handling de creating details zero tickets only for issues that cannot be resolved using the available documentation or automated process. Got it? Managing escalation through an XN app. Got it? Now here it deleted all this long prompts and says that if the issue is related to the password reset, the user is requesting help to reset the password, search the IT support docs for instructions and provide them to user. Uh, there are lot, you know, lots of things here it, it, it has included. Let's accept it. Okay, if user has already tried resetting their password and needs assistance, use the reset password underscore RP workflow to reset the password and provide the temporary password to user. Like right? For non-password reset issue, it follows this this way. Got it. Now let's go to the user prompt. Okay, again it has deleted all this previous one and try writing in a new way. Accept it. Let's accept this. Okay, now let's try. Uh, I don't think we need to modify this uh, prompts later, but let's try debugging this. Click on debug. Now in the user issue, I'll pass like help me i'll just say help me reset my password means i'm just asking help me reset my password then it should basically look into the solutions uh, that it support documents and then reply with the steps let's see when debug okay first it is calling nlm and using this IT support documents, look into this document. And I hope this will reply with the solution, the steps written in the documents. If the prompts is written clearly. Yeah, looks good. Uh, it says that to reset your password, please follow these steps. Go to portal this, 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 enter employee ID and then follow the instructions. Now let's try one more time so that we can ask agent to reset my password using the RPA workflow. So let's debug it. Now I'll say unable to reset login password. Help me with this. It seems like I have already tried but unable to do that. Let's see if agent is able to understand my intent or not. Oh, now you see here, it is directly going to call this RP workflow. And you see, username, password is successfully then closed. Now here you see some output with the, uh, the username, uh, sorry, the password. Now in the post execution, LLM call, since there is some issue here. Okay, so you see here, the problem is, it says that the reset password RP workflow tool did not return a temporary password. The reset password workflow tool did not return a password. The tool execution completed without providing the necessary output to assist. Okay, so it seems there is an issue with the that RP workflow. So we need to modify that. We we need to take that out argument there in our RP workflow. Let's open that. Okay, here we need to pass this password outside of the workflow, then only agent can understand that. So we'll take our argument, I'll say out underscore password. Change the direction to out, got it? Now this will be passed there. Uh, let's take here, assign activity. Let's take it. I'll say out password. 
and I'll take the same and paste it here. Save it and then let's publish it again. Okay, this time we'll say added out argument to send password to agent. Okay, next, next, publish. Now this has been published. Now let's go back to the UiPath orchestrator and upgrade that. Now let's upgrade that package. Confirm. And this time we have 1.0.1. Now, now go back to the agent. Now let's try running this. We'll go with the same user issue. Okay. Password is successfully. Let's wait for the temporary password. Got it. Now you see your password has been successfully reset. Your temporary password is welcome at one to three. Please use this temporary password to log in and change your password immediately for security reason. Right? So you saw how agent can call RP workflow. Agent can run that RP workflow from UiPath orchestrator. And also it can take this value from out argument and it can show you here. I hope this video is useful. Thank you so much for watching this video.